This is a short video introduction to Admiralty coatings. The first coating you see here is wipe, being wiped on this piece of wood is the UV shield. It contains the maximum amount of UV blockers formulated in the coating. It is simply wiped on and then wiped off as you see here. Immediately following that the coating can be cured with a UV light takes just a matter of seconds. The light's warming up here. Let me see one, two, two, two passes. The coating is now dry. No uh, further processing is needed between this and the next coat, which will be the Admiralty Gloss Coat. Now this gloss coat uh, can be applied with brush or roller or a spray. It all comes so it comes in a satin and a matte finish. You see the application goes on quite thick, probably around three mils. The thickness that's applied is the thickness you will get at the end when it is cured. Allow it to flow out. It flows out nicely. And when the coating is perceived to be perfect, then you can UV cure it. There's no VOCs in this product, so I say the coating you, you apply, 3 mils, is going to be the coating thickness you get. The product, when shipped, has unlimited shelf life and can be kept stored indefinitely as long as it's out of the sun. You see a few imperfections on this one, that's because the uh, applicators uh, I used uh, had a little dust in them. So here we go with the UV light again. You see how fast this is. Just a few passes and it's finished. Now, this is a very tough coating and has an incredible bond to both the wood and the UV shield below. Here we're going to do an adhesion test. This is a razor sharp knife blade and we're going to describe a hatch pattern on here. A series of five vertical and five horizontal cuts right down to the wood. And then we're going to use an ASTM method. You can see the scribe marks there. An ASTM method to uh, de uh, determine the, the adhesion characteristics. And it's normally done three times. We'll do here for you. We apply the tape, make sure it's firmly applied, and then pull it off quickly and then see if any of the small squares in the in the hatch pattern have been removed any any level any layers again second coat I mean the second try nothing still perfect and this is the ASTM's final requirement three three attempts so adhesion is extremely good to both the wood and to the inter layers the next test we want to do is to, is to um, test the durability or the impact resistance of the coating on the wood. Doing this, most coatings, uh, with regular varnish coatings, will fail because they will fracture and uh, flake off. Here we struck the coating on the wood with a, with a hammer rather heftily and compressed the wood, as you can see, but the coating simply flowed down and follow the contour of the compressed wood. There is no fracturing, cracking of the uh, um, of the coating on there. That is not something you can expect from from varnish. So, the next uh, test we'll run on this is the. Uh, flammability. We've got a small gas 
starter here and regular varnish will blister if you do this to the to the surface again you can uh, you can see there is no uh, lasting effects from this at all perfectly fine you can do this when it's wet or dry it will not go on fire and we just uh, is flame retardant very nice coating very tough